cuties. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I have a collab video with you guys. It is a collab with my lovely MAB ladies, the middle-aged beauties. That's what MAB stands for. And it's the group that I'm with. So this one here is my five favorite drugstore makeup brands. So if you guys would like to hear what my five favorites are, keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, please do not forget to go ahead and check down below. I would have links to all the lovely ladies that joined me in this collab, so you can go ahead and see what their five favorite uh, drugstore makeup brands are. So make sure you check out each one of their links, and like I said, I'll have them in the description bar down below. And uh, if you like, go ahead and subscribe, show them some love, give them some thumbs up and everything. Let's get started in my five favorite drugstore makeup brands. This was a little bit more of a challenge for me because high end, I do have high end ones, which we did that last week. I'll put a link down below to that one. And I thought we could do the high end and now we do the drugstore one. And I do have high end, quite a few high end products, but I am somebody that for the most part, a lot of times am on a budget. So I do prone to a lot more drugstore makeup brands that I feel comfortable with, that I'm a little more familiar with. I will step out and try the other ones, of course. And so I do have a lot more drugstore brands and products than I do of the high end. So I will go ahead and share with you uh, my first one. And my very first one would have to be ELF. Um, ELF, I did come across here on YouTube, I believe, because my Walmart didn't have e.l.f. in their store before I started watching YouTube or anything like that. So I did mostly find them through YouTube. And I think e.l.f. has really even stepped up their game even more so um, with their products. I have some of their makeup brushes. Actually, a lot of their makeup brushes are the makeup brushes that I use for the most part. And some of them are really they have worked great for me, like their blending brushes, their eyeshadow brush, even their one brush that I got um, to set my face powder. And they have loads more brushes out there that I'm thinking about getting, but they are very affordable. You can get very good products for affordability. One of my favorite products has been their eyebrow. It's an eyebrow kit. You can get one size more of a wax. The other one is more of a powder. So you put the wax on first, then the powder to kind of put the whole thing together. And it does come with a brush. I have used that, but you can use your own. I've also enjoyed their little smudgy pots. I like these ones actually crazy, believe it or not, more than the Maybelline color tattoo ones. These ones don't dry out on me, for me anyway, as fast as the Maybelline color tattoos do. I don't know why that is but these are gorgeous colors that they have. They have gold, they have this one, it's like a uh, bronzy, taupey kind of a look. Um, they're like about three bucks, I believe, maybe $4 now. I know they have raised some of their prices. Another product which I was surprised of that I have always liked was their e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This one's the poreless one. It's kind of looks almost like a pinky purple coloring in there or something like that. I think it's just the way they make the bottle because the color it comes out white. It does have a scent to it. The scent is kind of rather like a medicine scent and I know that kind of maybe sounds a little maybe whatever for some people but I found out I think there's tea tree in it and I think that's where the smell almost gives off that scent. And then like their blushes, this kit here, you get the light and this one's the light one and then there's a darker one and these are really nice travel friendly so they do have very reasonably priced products uh some are hit and miss i've had some that have just been meh and some totally threw away so they can be a hit and miss but overall i really have liked them and that's why i put them in here because i feel like they've even stepped up their game another brand that i really like is rimmel rimmel I did find, of course, in the um, store itself. I, this was even before YouTube and everything. One of my favorite things that Rimmel used to make, and I don't know more, there was some kind of cream eyeshadow. It was my first experience with cream eyeshadows. 
I don't remember the full name, but man, I used to get compliments when I put it on my eyes and that sucker stayed because one girl asked me, she's like, how do you get your eyeshadow to stay like that? And I told them what product I was using. Again, they've been hit and miss for me. I don't normally get too many of their eyeshadow palettes, but one of my favorite foundations is from them and that's the lasting finish and it says 25 hour first of all there's 24 hours and plus who's gonna wear it for that long you know but it does last it's a really really great foundation um i don't know for somebody for oily skin i am combo to dry so please always keep that in mind i am combo to dry skin person but i really love this foundation this is like in one of my top five favorite foundations which i did do a video for that if I can remember, I'll put the link to that below. Also, one of my favorite primers is from them, and it goes along with, and with that, it's the Lasting Finish Primer. If you're somebody that doesn't like that silicone feel to your primer or anything, this is a really good one. This one feels more like a moisturizer you're, moisturizer you're putting on your face, but it the wearability of my makeup has lasted, and it's been a really great primer, so that's one of my favorite primers. I also love their Scandal Eyes uh, eyeliners. Their eyeliners are pretty top notch for me. I haven't been out trying too many of the other eyeliners from the other makeup uh, drugstore brands. Um, I guess I keep going to back to these because they've always worked great for me, which the black one I always use, as you see me do for the tight line or anything like that. Sometimes I do use it in my waterline it has lasted really good this is one of my favorites instead of using a white like to make your eyes look more open a lot of people can say that you can put a, a white eyeliner in the waterline i feel it is nicer if you find something this is more of a nude nude shade um eyeliner and it looks more natural because the white I don't know the white's just a little offish for me especially for me maybe if I was a little more younger but for now it's just kind of offish for me so this goes great the other thing I really enjoy from Rimmel is the lipsticks definitely the Kate Moss line for sure and I'd shown this one not too long ago this one's in the number eight um just gorgeous nude shade they last they're very creamy smooth I have a big collection of the Kate Moss ones. She has her nude collection out. Definitely if you're a nude person, you love your nude shades, check out the nude selection from the Kate Moss. They're really nice. So the next company I've used for years and that would be L'Oreal. I do like a lot of their mascaras. One of my favorite things in their line is their Lumi line. I like the, um, this is the Lumi foundation, the Magic Lumi. This one looks a little bit different because I did get it from England. My in-laws had sent it to me, so this is the way England's packaging and it looks, but it works the same. And I love this foundation. This I do like the Lumi pen thing that you can use to brighten and highlight. I do like the primer. I haven't got that one for a while. It is rather small and pricey. That's the one thing I'm noticing, sadly, with a lot of these drugstore brands like L'Oreal and a couple other ones. They're starting to jack up their prices and it's becoming kind of, I feel a little bit crazy, cray cray. <laughs> as one would say. Another product that I really enjoy from L'Oreal, and I use it almost all the time. Sometimes I don't, but for majority of times, depending on what um, eye product I'm putting under my eyes, like if I'm using a really good eye cream, like my lifting one that I, I really liked from the uh, uh, Hydra Peptide Company, but this is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur for under the eyes love this thing. You could put it on after, like I could put it on now if I wanted to, to kind of, um, you know, set everything in and kind of give a little more smoothness there. And then my most, one of my most favorite things from L'Oreal is the infallible eyeshadows. I love these things. Again, I love these better. I'm not real big. I don't know what it is. I'm not real big in the Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadows. I'm not sure, the colors are gorgeous, but if I had to pick between them and that smudge pot from e.l.f. and this, it would be the L'Oreal Infallibles. This one here is in Blinged, Blinged and Brilliant. I think it might've been a limited edition one. I don't know, because I know they were doing limited edition ones for a while there. I'm not seeing them the last couple years, but they're like kind of impressed in there. 
very buttery smooth. I mean, some of these you could use as a highlight. I mean, like you could seriously use that as a highlight. But there it is. Yeah, so you could use that even as a highlight if you wanted to. A little versatile with these things. But I love them. I would totally pick my infallibles over the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I just love these. All right, the next brand I'm going to talk about is Wet n Wild. I bet you Wet n Wild is going to be pretty popular in this category category for a lot of people. And I've Wet n Wild. Again, they're another company that stepped up their game like Elf and they're very affordable and a lot of their products are really good. I mean, again, there's probably hit and misses for me in them, but a lot of the products I've been buying and trying out, I've been pretty impressed with. One of my products, I'll show both of these, are two of their primers. One's for the eyes. This was from the Fergie. It used to be the Fergie take on the day. And it was in this casing, which my wordings all come off now. Like a lot of them are still in the Wet n Wild, but they just changed the packaging and don't have her name on them. So she's no more like affiliated with them or anything. But their eye primer, if you do see their their eye primer in there, it's the same formula, everything that was in this. It's different packaging. And then this is the eye primer. And the packaging would look more like this in the eye primer. This is the face primer. Oh my goodness, I was so surprised with this face primer when I first got it. And it is a really good face primer, guys, in the drugstore. Almost, almost, not quite, reminds me of my Too Faced hangover a little bit. The way the feeling of it is and everything. I don't know. It's not real silicone feeling to me. My other favorite thing is their blushes. Their blushes are phenomenal. And their newer ones that come in the newer packaging now are just as good. This is the Rose Champagne. This is one of my favorite shades that they have is the Rose Champagne. It's just gorgeous. You don't even need a highlight with that one. Highlights are really good. I have a lot of the ones that have Fergie's name on them, but you can still get those highlights if you go on drugstore.com. It just will have Fergie's name on them and they're kind of named differently. You'll probably see what I mean if you go in there. So if you liked them highlights, but this Fergie highlight, I have a whole bunch of them and I'll, I don't even think I'll be able to go through them all. And my favorite eyeshadow palette, like their eyeshadows are top notch. They are really good in the drugstore. You know, like there's some drugstore eyeshadows that are like very hit and miss for me, but they are top notch. But my favorite eyeshadow palette from them is the Nude Awakening, these newer ones. This one has more of the rose and burgundy shades in it. I didn't get the other one yet. Different times I'll look at it and think I'm going to go ahead and get it and then I just don't and I'm not sure why because it is beautiful and yes they do have some similarities to this one like maybe the Naked 3 from Urban Decay the other one's like kind of the original Naked um, kind of whatever but the pigmentation in these are great if I had to choose this would be my favorite Wet n Wild palette I love this one okay and then my last brand that I'm going to talk to you guys about I feel like they're becoming my favorite drugstore brand overall. I'm feeling like it is only because I have a lot of products that I really like from them and it's just, just everywhere. And that would be Maybelline. And again, Maybelline, I did come across from just going into the store, you know, drugstore and everything. I didn't really get into a lot of Maybelline for a while there, here and there kind of thing, but after time, I started, you know, getting into more of their products. Now, some products I did get because I seen them on YouTube, which one would be the Fit Me Concealer, because everybody was saying this is similar to the NARS Creamy Concealer, or whatever that one was, that's similar into this kind of packaging. And, you know, I couldn't afford that, so I ended up getting this one here. One of my favorite concealers. I love this concealer as well as their Fit Me. Now I get the dewy smooth one. I don't get the matte one. I like more of a dewy look and those kind of finishes. So this is the dewy smooth one. Again, love this foundation. That is the foundation I'm wearing today. Love it. It gives kind of a, if you want full coverage, you'd probably have to put a couple layers on. It does give a little more natural coverage. So if you do have certain spots you want a little extra coverage, you could probably use the Fit Me Concealer and do that. But this does have a nice natural look to it. I have their lipsticks here. I forgot because I was going to show you the lipsticks because their Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks are some of my favorite lipsticks in the drugstore. Love their lipsticks. There's such a variety. There's creamy mattes. 
bold colors, neutral colors, red colors, orange colors, pink colors, I, just everywhere. And um, I love their vivids. I think they, I think that's what it was. The vivid lines. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I just, I love a lot of their lipsticks a lot. And another thing that I really, really like from them is their master highlight blushes. I have a coral one. I have their nude one, which I use kind of more of a highlighter. Um, this one is the pink one. Is this the pink? Yeah, this one's pink rose. This one's in the pink rose. And then I have the mauve one. So I almost have all of them actually. And it kind of gives you a blush and highlight like all in one kind of a look. You can use it as a topper. I've done that already, but it doesn't, you know, it does give off a nice natural look, but also it's like uh, two in one. So if you want to put get one of these, you have your highlight and blush all in one. Depending your color tone, um, you probably might have to use this as a topper, but for the most part, yeah, it's like a two in one. All right, beauties, that is everything. That is all my top five favorite drugstore brands. And like I said, this was a little bit more of a challenge for me, but that's my top five right there if I had to pick. So, all right. Don't forget to go ahead and check the others out. I will have, like I said, the links down below. So check them out. Maybe subscribe if you like and give them some love and show some thumbs up and everything. And um, if you did like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, I would appreciate that very much. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week. I would love to have you guys. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.